What's going on YouTube? Today I am bringing you guys a DoorDash pros and cons video. So I will be flipping this video around so hopefully you can see my pros and cons. Screenshot it if you would like. It's gonna be up there for a few more seconds. So today we're just gonna go over the pros and cons that I have. I've written them down. Um, I've been doing DoorDash for about a year now. So I think personally these will apply to most people depending on your area. That's mainly the main, that's the biggest thing. All depends on your area. So for the pros I wrote, I only wrote three pros for DoorDash and DoorDash is the third delivery app that I use the most behind Amazon Flex and Instacart. So for the first pro I wrote, option to accept and decline orders you like. Now, it, this used to not be the case because if you decline too many orders, your acceptance rate would go down and then you might be able to get deactivated. But now, lately they don't really deactivate much unless you have um, some errors like not delivering the food or your delivery rate goes down because you obviously either stole them or didn't deliver them. So the option to accept and decline orders, so you can sit there, this is what I do, I sit there and I will only take an order that I think is gonna make me money or that's not that many miles. Now if it's a $4 order and it's like 15 miles, no. And there's no tip. So I won't take anything that doesn't have a tip and I won't take anything usually under $10 unless it's like maybe a mile or a mile away. So that's the first pro, which is you can decline or accept any orders you want if you don't care about your acceptance rate and if you don't care about being a top dasher. Number two, daily payout. So whatever you make on DoorDash, you can cash out once a day. Now this ties into my cons, which is cost $1.99 to cash out every single day. Once a day, it will cost you $1.99 to transfer your money right into your bank. So number three, flexible times to make money. So DoorDash is pretty cool because it, let's say you work a normal nine to five job. Usually DoorDash is more popular in the night. So you can DoorDash after your job and during peak hours, which is goes back to the cons. So those are the only pros I can think of. If you can think of any, leave them below. I'd love to hear them. So now cons. So we're gonna go to the con side. I don't know if you can see. Cons. Cons, number one, top dasher forced to accept non-profitable orders. So if you're a top dasher, you're more than likely, if you don't want your acceptance rate to go down and you wanna stay a top dasher, you're gonna have to accept the non-tip orders, the non-great paying orders, and the, the orders that make you drive super, super far for low pay to stay a top dasher. Now. I used to always wanna be a top dasher because of the area I lived in. It was really good to be a top dasher because you could dash anytime you wanted. And then none of the orders would be more than five miles because it was like a tight little college city. And the furthest you would ever drive was maybe the most 10 miles, not very often, Mo mainly five miles and under. So you could take the crap orders and still make a really good earning and then stay top dasher. The only reason I would wanna be a top dasher is to be able to have the availability to dash whenever you want. But if you're not a top dasher, which is number two, you can only dash in peak hours unless you're a top dasher. So if you're not a top dasher, which means you have like a good ratings, uh, you have a super good ratings and acceptance rate, and that means you take the crap orders that have no tips. So unless you're a top dasher, you can only peak, or you can only dash in peak hours, which is like, obviously like prime time, like dinner time, like five to seven, and you might only be able to get on the app for an hour maybe two hours, and then as soon as they don't need you, boop, you're off, you can't dash because it's no longer busy. So number three, the $1.99 instant cash out fee to get your money daily. Now that I just, compared to other, um, Amazon Flex pays me daily, no cash out fee. Uh, Instacart, you can cash out as many times as you want a day for only 50 cents, and then DoorDash limits you to one per day, and it's $1.99. So let's say you, earn $20 and you need some gas and you're gonna be dashing for the rest of the day. Once you cash out that $20, whatever you make for the rest of the day, it's locked in there till tomorrow or at midnight where you can cash out again. But then the same thing applies to the next day. You will only be able to cash out once again. So once a day. And then the last or number four would be hidden tips. So DoorDash will give you an order. Let's say it's a pizza place. They'll say five, $5 plus tips. So you don't know if you're only getting $5 or there's a hidden tip that could make it $15. You just, you don't know because they hide it. So you won't know until you accept the order, go deliver the order, and then once you deliver the order, you just pray that there was a tip, and if not, well, DoorDash isn't responsible for it because they said, could be a tip, could not. So those ones, I don't, I don't understand how they're allowed to hide the tips, which I think is really, really crappy. And then number five, long wait time for orders and getting orders. So. If, 
I'm not sure Top Dasher helps out you getting more orders quicker, but sometimes when I'm door dashing, you could sit there for 30 minutes to an hour just waiting in the parking lot for an order. And then you might even finally get an order and it might be like a $3 no tip order, 15 miles, and then you're gonna decline it. So long, long wait times because there's so many dashers in the area and DoorDash is saturated with so, so many dashers that wanna do this for a side gig. And a lot of those people take the non-tip orders, which is just, crazy you're you're losing money and some of them haven't realized that and eventually they will and then they'll stop dashing or they'll or their acceptance rate will finally go down and then they won't be a top dasher anymore and then long wait times as soon as you get to a let's say mcdonald's drive through at 10 p.m at night there's going to be a line of 15 people and you have to wait in that line for the the dashes order so you're going to be sitting there you're losing out on an 30 minutes to an hour of just sitting in the drive-thru. Make sure right when you get in that drive-thru that you report what's going on with your order. Say that the drive-thru is busy so it doesn't affect you in the long run. Um, some people do message support and there's that weird case where they do um, compensate you for the time you waited, but it's never happened. It's happened to me once. I got $5 because I stood there for like an literally an hour and this is uh, at a mod pizza back in my old hometown and they gave me, I think, $5 bump and I still had to do the order and I lost out on, I'd say a total of like an hour and a half where I could have been doing more orders. So yeah, those are my uh, DoorDash pros and cons that I could think of right now. Um, if you could think of any pros or cons, I'd love to hear them, leave them below and we can discuss them. We could debate them, up to you. But yeah, so this is why DoorDash is my third most popular delivery app. I only DoorDash if it's really slow on Instacart or I have no Amazon Flex orders and I'm wide awake in the middle of the night because that's usually when DoorDash is the most popular. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I used to use DoorDash a lot more in my old hometown, but now it's just, it's not worth it. So I'll just cherry pick the good ones. And yeah, um, if you like the video, please click the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And if you wanna see any more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. And I do a lot of Instacart videos, Amazon cart or Amazon Flex videos and DoorDash videos and some other delivery apps. And I talk about fitness and stuff. So if you wanna check those out, you can on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.